4, The Battle of Falkirk, 1, Preparing for Battle, Campaign Difficulty, AI Difficulty, Option Box, William, AI Difficulty, Option Box, AI Difficulty, AI Difficulty, Option Box, William, William Wallace, 1, Preparing for Battle, We are without a leader. The dead King of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south. What Edward Longshanks, the avaricious King of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the Highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. We must act soon. If we are to have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. Loading. Controller tip. While an action icon is visible, hold left trigger and... Objectives. Main objectives. In this scenario, you will learn basic controls to help William Wallace. Find your army, reach your base, and drive out the English. If you need a reminder on what to do, visit your objectives in the start. William Wallace has been called to parley Lesson with the one, English sheriff, but the English cannot be trusted. Two, Wallace will need our help. Enemy. Lesson 3, training villagers. Lesson 4, establish your economy. Lesson 5, explore the area. Lesson 6, advance to the next age. Lesson 7, build an army. Lesson 8, attack the enemy base. Tilt the left stick to target your soldier with the selection reticle. If he is hard to target, Tilt the right stick up to zoom in. Select your soldier by pressing A over them. The name of the selected unit appears at the bottom of the screen. Now, with the militia selected, tilt the left stick to target the blue flag and press A to move him to that location. The icon in the center of the screen shows what pressing A will do. The portrait shows what is selected. Great! To deselect your soldier, press B. This replaces the central icon with a selection reticle. Bid fear. These are some of Wallace's men. They say that Wallace went to the sheriff alone, but they fear an English trick. Bring them to Wallace. Select all units of the same type by double pressing A. Target a unit and double press A to select all units of the targeted type. With all of your soldiers selected, target the next flag and press A to move them there. Moving into the black area reveals unexplored parts of the map. A knight and some archers have joined your force. Select your units once more, this time by pressing and holding A. A circular marquee will appear and grow. You can drag the marquee with the left stick as long as A is held. Release A when all of your soldiers are selected. Up ahead is an English outpost. We should destroy it. With your soldiers selected, target the outpost and press A to attack it. Let's <laughs> go. 
English longbowmen will shoot Wallace in the back. We must stop them. With your soldiers selected, move your reticle to the flag, then press X. They will attack all enemies they see on their path. Using attack move, your soldiers attack all enemies along the way to their destination. You've saved Wallace from a treacherous English ambush. Your soldiers fought fiercely and can use some rest. Move them to the town center up ahead. William Wallace will gather supporters to attack the English. They will pay for their meddling in our Scotland. He leaves you to prepare this town for battle. Bargara. You have three villagers. Villagers can gather resources and construct buildings. Double press A over one of your villagers to select them all. Then press A over a sheep Here. to have them gather food. Great. Your villagers will continue gathering on their own and return food to the town center. You will need 50 food to train another villager. You can check your resource stockpiles, including food, in the panel at the top of the screen. Different resources are required for different units, buildings, and technologies. Excellent. You have enough food to train a villager from your town center. First, press B to clear your selection. Now target the town center and press A to select it. At the bottom center of the screen, you can see information about your currently selected object. Press the right trigger to open the town center's command menu. This menu contains specialized commands for the selected unit or building. Now, tilt the left stick to the right to highlight Create Villager and press A. Well done! A new villager is being trained. You can see its progress in the town center's build queue at the bottom of the screen. Send the newly trained villager to gather food from the forage bushes near the blue flag above your town center. Good. Forage bushes and sheep are both excellent sources of food. To keep your economy growing, you should always train additional villagers. Quick find shortcuts are mapped to your D-pad. Use them to instantly select your most common units and buildings. Press D-pad down to select your town center. The Y button provides quick access to common actions from the command menu. The icon at the bottom of the screen shows the available Y shortcut for the selected unit or building. With your town center selected, press Y twice to queue up two more villagers. You have run out of population space, as shown at the top of the screen. To train more units, you must build a house. Let's use a command menu shortcut to build a house. First, target a villager and press A to select it. Now press Y to activate the villager's command menu shortcut. Tilt the left stick to target an empty tile and press A to place the house. Excellent! Your villager will start building a house in that location. Each house lets you create five more units. Press D-pad up to select an idle villager. If one cannot be found, a working villager is selected instead. We are going to build two houses, but this time we will chain the commands so the villager completes one and then moves on to the other. First, press Y to start placing your house. Now, 
Hold the left trigger and press A to place your first house. Continue holding the left trigger and press A over a new location to place a second house. Holding the left trigger lets you chain other actions as well, such as move and gather. As your economy grows, you will train more villagers and gather different types of resources. Villager priorities automatically distribute your villagers between resources, making it easier to manage your economy. Press the right stick to open the Villager Priorities menu. This menu contains various presets. Each one represents a ratio for distributing villagers between resource types. Tilt the left stick up and press A to select the food and wood preset. This is a good preset for the early parts of the game. Good! Your villagers will be automatically tasked to nearby resources based on the preset. The pie chart at the top of the screen shows the ratio of villagers distributed between resources. A mill serves as a drop-off site for villagers gathering food and is required to build farms. We will use a site menu to build a mill. Site menus contain commands that nearby units can perform at the target location. First, press B to clear your selection. Now target the forage bush with the reticle and press the right trigger to open a site menu. Tilt the left stick up to highlight Build Mill and press A. Now target a location next to the forage bushes and press A to place the foundation. A villager will automatically come to construct the mill. Placing drop-off sites near resources reduces your villagers' walking distances so they can spend more time gathering. Food is deposited at a mill, wood at a lumber camp, and gold and stone at a mining camp. Sheep and forage bushes will not last forever, but your villagers will build farms near the town center and mill once they deplete. To continue supplying your economy, you must explore the map for extra resources. The Scout Cavalry is great for this purpose. Using your Scout Cavalry, locate some additional sheep. A flashing X has appeared on the minimap in the bottom right corner of the screen, marking the location of the sheep. Good! Now select the sheep by holding D-pad right, then move them to the town center. In addition to food and wood, villagers can also gather gold. Using your scout cavalry, locate a gold mine to the east of your town center. The flashing X on the minimap marks the location of the mine. Very good! You have found an abandoned mining camp, so you do not have to build one. Villagers will deposit the gold that they gather here. To access new units and buildings, you must advance to the Feudal Age through the Town Center command menu. Remember, you can press D-pad down to select your Town Center. 
Now press the right trigger to open the command menu and select Feudal Age. Excellent! Once the Age Up progress bar is full, you will reach the Feudal Age. Advancing through the ages unlocks new buildings and upgrades. In the Feudal Age, you will need more wood to build buildings and gold to train soldiers. Press the right stick to open the Villager Priorities menu and select the basic preset. Now tilt the left stick to highlight the basic preset and press A. You will need to train soldiers of your own to defend against the English. You can create new militia at the barracks. To build a barracks, first select a villager. Remember, pressing D-pad up cycles through your villagers, beginning with any oh. idle ones. Now press the right trigger to open your villager's command menu. The villager's command menu has two pages, economy and military buildings. Press Y to cycle to the Military Buildings page. Now, highlight the Build Barracks command and press A. The barracks will be built faster if you assign multiple villagers to it. To do so, select another villager, target the Barracks Foundation, and press A. Kid. Select your barracks and press the right trigger to open its command menu. Remember, you may need to press B to clear your selection first. Now highlight Train Militia and press A three times to train three militia. You can set a gather point for your militia by selecting your barracks, holding the left trigger and pressing X where you want them to gather. To strengthen your soldiers, you can upgrade them to men-at-arms. First, select your barracks and open its command menu. Now tilt the left stick towards the militia icon and press X to upgrade them all to the stronger men-at-arms. Your Scottish allies are preparing to attack the English. Hold D-pad left to select all your soldiers and send them across the bridge to meet your ally. Their location is marked on the minimap. The English base is just up ahead. Your ally will automatically aid you once you defeat the enemy troops guarding the gate. Remember, to select all military units, press and hold D-pad left. Select your soldiers and defeat the enemy troops guarding the gate.
Your allies are sending help to destroy the enemy fortifications. Siege weapons become available upon reaching the Castle Age. They excel at leveling buildings, gates, and walls, but must be protected from enemy soldiers. Now, assault the enemy base with your Scottish allies and burn it to the ground! Fogo! Fogo! Your ally has provided you with some additional soldiers. Keep it up! Great! The English have been driven out of this area. For additional tips about playing Age of Empires 2, choose the William Wallace campaign from the Learn to Play menu. See you there. You are victorious. Continue. Button. Continue. Button. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we'll need many more recruits and much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be drenched with the blood of clansmen. Player, player, one Ecliptic Studios. Military, 320. Economy, 210. Technology, 688. Society, zero total score, 1218. Team, none. William Wallace. List box. William Wallace. William Wallace. 2. The Battle of Stirling. William Wallace. 1. Preparing for battle. <laughs>